Uh, we have our ups and downs. <laughs> Me, I don't have no problem. I don't do nothing wrong. Thank you, sir. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. There's a code five male coming in, possibly combative. If he is, we'll put him in the straight chair. You got any of his info? No. Let, Actually, we let me out! We just got him in the car. Was he trying to fight with you or just. He was fighting with him, kicked out a window to say we're gonna fight. Let and me out. Hey, hey. This car is gross. Hey, it is gross. Can we take you out of this car? You'd be cool? Okay, here's the, here's the deal, man. We're going to take you out of this car, walk inside, get you cleaned up. But I can't have you fighting or spitting on the officers, I okay? Fight. No, I, want home, uh, I think there's a lot of vomit in the car. And there's a drunk guy. So I'm going to be really nice to him so we don't have to fight him. And... You, man. Anthony, just be cool, man. We're trying to get you cleaned I'm up. Be cool, man. Don't spit. I want to go home. What the? No, no, no. I'm not a Anthony, we'll take it off of you. You can't be spitting, man. What the hell? I'm not Never mind the shoes. What the hell is this? I'm not gonna spit. Anthony, we'll take it off as soon as we get you cleaned up and cleared out, okay? Just relax. No, oh, do your job, you pathetic mother. Hey. Don't grab my hand. Don't grab my hand. Anthony! You better relax. You better relax. Anthony. Pigs. Anthony, be nice. We're just trying to get you cleaned You're up. You're not. I'm not even resisting. I'm trying to get you out of cuffs. Relax. I'm not a criminal. OK, this come on. Let's go see camera. medical. Oh, medical pen. All on camera. Yeah. TR. Come on, Follow me, please. Maybe I you probably ah, don't want to punch ah, up your ah, fist ah, like that, ah, guy, OK? Ah, 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 I didn't Stop. do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Hold still. Please, Good please. Roll. I didn't do nothing. Please, call my, call my girlfriend. Yeah, no, yeah. stop. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to call her, but they never no, would answer the phone. This male inmate came in, obviously extremely intoxicated, fighting. He cannot calm down. The Sarge has pleaded with him to calm down. They wanted to get him cleaned up. He will not do it. He was arrested at some event downtown. He's obviously drank himself silly tonight. Not a good night for him. He's not having a good night. Please help me. Can I say something, Help me, please. Yeah, I'm going to help you, but you got to do a couple things, man. I don't want to be drunk, man. I'll, I'll sober up. Please help me. We're going to get you out as soon as you calm down. Down, all right? I'm not even acting crazy. Please help okay. me, please. We're gonna get you out of here. Just hold them together, okay? Just had a little too much to drink. But this isn't fair. Uh, I'll be back to check on you, man. So apparently this guy was at the Life is Beautiful Festival and he got out of hand with some of the officers down there so they took him into custody and while he was in the back of the car he started kicking out one of the car windows and did a lot of damage to one of the patrol cars out of there. We were able to reason with him. We were able to get him to our vehicle and the minute we got him secured in our vehicle he started acting in this manner. did everything I could to try to talk him out but he's just, he's just a little uh, too intoxicated to even talk to right now. I've been in this chair forever, man. Please, just let me out. I'm not going to fight no one. I know. Why am no, I being I know, like this? He's sobered up a little bit, so we're going to take him out of the chair and uh, still going to isolate him for a little while. So I'm going to put him in the side cell. He's agreed to cooperate, so we're going to give him a shot. I do nothing wrong, man. I'm a good person. I have a job. I pay taxes. I'm not a tweaker. Where do you want him? Let's see what we got over here. Four, three, I've never whatever. Even got a chance to Okay. So right at the can door. I use the phone? Let's get you out of these handcuffs, Anthony. Don't move, okay? This isn't fair. Well, I'm going to jump for me now. Face straight up, man. I'm waiting on the paperwork from I the arresting stay officer. Here. I have a job, bro. I can't do this. I'll come back with them I've, when I've I get been them. Here for 14 hours, bro. Anthony, you've been here for less than two hours. I have not been here 14 hours. When I get your papers, I will bring them back to you. This is illegal. It's not illegal, trust me. Uh, I can keep telling Anthony the same thing for an hour, and he just 
he's still too drunk to uh, comprehend. Hopefully, he'll just uh, lay down and sleep it off. How you feeling, bro? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you remember what happened last night? Kind of. <laughs> you were really drunk. You remember getting sick? No. I'm just got to make sure you're sober enough and you're feeling OK. Yeah, I'm totally fine. Is it morning yet? It's not morning yet. It's still dark out. I'm sorry, dude. No, it's all good, but it's all good. Let me go get your paperwork. We still got to get your fingerprint and photographed. So my girlfriend's OK? She's called her. We don't take incoming calls. Um, was she with you? I think so. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember. <laughs> Damn. I'm not going to lie to you. OK, man. I, I say, I, let's say, uh, as soon as we get get your papers in order, I'll get you out to a phone so you can call her. Okay. She's going to be mad because you're calling her at 4 in the morning. But... She's super pissed. All right, man. So I'll be back and talk to you in a minute, all right? All right. Thank you, man. Thanks, Anthony. I say, it's been a couple hours. Anthony has sobered up considerably. He's still a little bit intoxicated, but he grasps where he's at. Eventually, I have to get him through the booking process, so... I'm gonna say I'm still gonna give him a few more hours to sober up a little bit. Most of the inmates that come in and get arrested from the outside are highly agitated and um, my job is to assess them and, and try to calm them down in a certain manner but sometimes it just doesn't happen they end up in a side cell or oftentimes they end up in the uh, restraint chair ready for one jeez look at that just flip your wig some security bitch ass guard oh, yeah. i don't feel like a punk just put a belt you're taking my belt yeah. <laughs> have a seat right there so what happened out there? I uh, hit a median and uh, got jumped by some security guards. If you can't tell, they tried to jump me. You can say that. Anyways, I got a DUI. All right, we're going to step back over here. You ready to go get your blood drawn? <sighs> here we go. Let's go do it. Oh. Fred, have a seat. Do I have to? Relax your hand. <laughs> just relax. It. Just relax. Hey, last time you got to blew my vein out, just so you know. Uh, it wasn't you, but... I'm Sergeant right, Green. Right. How you doing? Sergeant. Did you get I, in a... I was shake your hand, but I can't. I'm did, you get a, did you get in a car accident? Everyone asked me that. I, I was trying to jack up my car, and next thing you know, I was attacked by, like, three security guards. Were you resisting? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, oh, uh, you got it. Sergeant, what brings you into this office right now? Did I? I hope I didn't bring you out. Yeah, any, anytime there's, a, like, a blood draw, I pretty much have to be present because... I appreciate that. I don't want to end up in the spit chair. Well, that's a restraint chair. I've seen you guys chicken wing some people. What's yeah. that? When they... When they... Oh, chicken wing. Yeah. Their wrist? Oh, yeah. That wrist. Just as long as you cooperate, then you won't go... You won't get chicken winged. As you call it. <laughs> chicken wing, yeah, yes. And you I'm won't not, go in the spit chair. I don't want to get spit chicken wing or the spit chair. All right. But I may if I want it. Well, I don't uh, recommend I, I, it. I don't recommend it. Right. Yeah. Thanks for coming, man. That's that nice. You're not the arresting officer, you're the transporting officer? Yes, sir. What is his story? As far as I know, sir, uh, obviously he was driving a BMW. Uh, he got an accident, ran over the curb, had a couple of flat tires. Uh, while he was changing the fire tires, he was approached by security. Mm -hmm. um, after having conversation with the security, they decided to call the Metro. And when they decided to call the Metro, he ran from the security. And there was a, some kind of food pursuit. And uh, when they caught up to him, there was some kind of struggle. That's when you see all the injuries. OK. That's the only thing I know. So the injuries came from? Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Can I call him? I hear my story. Sorry. No, no, go sit down. Oh, I got to sit down. No, no, you got to go sit Sorry. down, man. You just can't come Sorry. creeping up behind me like that. What's wrong with you? I did. Mm -hmm. So anyway, he doesn't want to end up in the spit chair, but it looks like that's what's going to happen to him. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. What happened? That kind of behavior is going to get you in that chair. I don't want to go in that chair, but I know about that chair. Yeah, I know you don't want to get it, but, <laughs> I don't want to but get you're on your that... way. Hey, I'm on my way, man. That's how it works around here, yeah, okay? Well, Anytime you want to come like out of that you're chair. you're asking about my story. Oh, you're talking over me here. Just listen up real quick. You're asking about my story. That's for the judge. No, it's not for the what judge. Do you, what do you guys have to do with my story? Listen to me. What is that? Okay. What is that? That's going to be like strike two. You ever watch baseball? 
What happens on strike three? You put your head down, you walk to the dugout. Yeah, okay, that's strike two, so what's going to happen is well, the third dugout. strike, you're going to be in the chair. Uh, that's the dugout. I didn't do nothing okay. to go in that chair. What do you mean? You got up out of that chair and you come up right behind me. I did. Yeah. I did. That's not a good thing. Yeah, I know. All right, I'm not going to play with you. All right, yeah, All right? I got you. All right. I see you. The hand twitching. <laughs> you want to? Your hand was. Twitching? Yeah, your hand was twitching. Like oh, okay. I want to put this one. So I'm like eager to snatch oh, you yeah, up. You're right? ready. Yeah, you're okay. ready. You're ready. All right. <laughs> so we know we understand each other. Yeah, All definitely right. understand you, okay. Sergeant. Yes, All right. sir. All right. All right. Oh, Thank yeah. you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you for your cooperation. Yes, sir. All right. Cooperate day in and day out. Yo, man, so put your pants up. I, how am I supposed to do that? With your hands? Oh, you took my belt. What do you mean? With your hands? Really? Ladies don't want to see it. I, I see it. I do a about that. You all right? We're good now. I mean, he's not really, really uncooperative, but he's sort of like a, he's always has something to say. How could you pass on this, man? What the, heck? crazy. I'm about to enjoy my little dinner. There's your copy of charges, DUI alcohol, right? Whoa! <laughs> I'll tell you about that, man. You told on. me. Come on out. All right. Oh, boy, pull your pants up, up, man. Sorry. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a look at that chair. Right here, man. Look at that. You want to be in there? I, I mean, do I want to be? Or uh, sometimes duty calls, man. Yeah, hey, uh, you're heading that way. That chair. All right, we'll see how you do out here. You're going to go on this side. Don't talk to the girls. If you want to get up, what do you have to do? To none of these girls. If you want to get up, what do you got to do? See yo. Raise your hand. All uh, right, raise your hand. All right, you just copy your charges. Thank you, sir. Have a seat. Let me come over you and are, talk you to are, you. You want me to come out of the back? <laughs> Don't have me come over and talk to you, all right? I'm not a gambling man, but if I had to put money on it, he's going to be in that chair in about, I'll give you 30 minutes. You can give him the benefit of the doubt, but like I said, this is Vegas. My money's on him. Trespassed at the Bally's Casino. <laughs> there you go. That's what you're in here for? Nothing. Yeah. There's a dollar and my credit cards, and I miss the normal white guy. I mean, come on, man. I'm a nightclub promoter. I got a seat there, sir. Yes, sir. I'm a nightclub promoter. Take the top two shirts off for me. Yeah, they let me spend all my money, then they arrested me. Yeah, you're right. off, all OK, let me show you something. This it's a Tommy Hill fish. Like if I was on it's $45. Do right, you have a bench warrant or are you just here for no, a No, no warrants, no nothing. All right, well, I'm, I'm up here and sign for your property. Yes, sir. You got a large bag of your personal goods. Yes, sir. I'm sign right here at the Red X. I got $1. And I'll uh, we'll have that when you get out. Two we credit cards. Fantastic. All right, sorry, I did. William, we're going to go in the next room. The second row, first chair. We're going to go see medical, all right? All right, let's go. Let them know about your ankles. There's my drink right here. Okay, grab that. Do you take any medicine? Never. No, I don't even take aspirin. I don't do drugs. I just drink Jack Daniels, okay? How much did you drink last night? Five drinks. Hey, so did you win any money last night? I did win some. How much money. you win? Uh, about six hundred and forty-three dollars. And you have I blew it all. You blew it all, right? You had five drinks of Jack, six hundred forty dollars, and you come back with a dollar. And I blew a dollar. Wow! God damn it! I'm stupid. I should have walked. But you had a good time, though, right? Yeah. Well, sometimes I, that's all that matters. But I should have walked up the six hundred. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> all right, sir. So I'm gonna have you have a seat in the first row and just listen for your name. As a nightclub promoter, I meet so many cool people. You know what I see between 10 and 10. It's funny as hell, dude. I promote for every nightclub on the strip. I want to be in motion pictures until I worked on Lost, Hawaii Five. I live in Hawaii. I worked on Hawaii Five O, Lost. I worked with uh, Linda Hamilton. I worked with uh, Daniel Day Lewis. I worked with. I'm ready to become a star. It's time for me right now. God is telling me it's time right now. My time is right now. I just met Stallone the other day. Wow. 
I'm not lying. That's awesome. I'm walking through Planet Hollywood, and there's Stallone right there. I go, Sly, what's up? He goes, what's up? <laughs> but true story. Not lying. William, what exactly does a Las Vegas nightclub promoter do? Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you. I carry, the nightclubs cost $30 to get in. You know that. I give away free tickets to all the kids from Australia, Germany, Russia, England. I make girls. My job is the best job in the world, guys. Dude, all I make is tips. I make tips. I make an average of $110 a day in tips. But when I meet the kids who are 21 and 22 and 25, they love me. They go, William, you're the coolest guy. I wish you were my father. You're the coolest guy I've ever met. Dude, I'm not full of <laughs> So, uh, what did you bring Bill in for today? Bill is on uh, multiple prior trespass from the casino. He was uh, being belligerent there, just acting up. So security took him into custody, called uh, Metro Police in there. We processed him out, and it's a uh, process as a citizen's arrest. OK, all right, well, I can see that happening. He's definitely a character. Yes, he is. Yeah. Thanks. Not a problem. Now, tell you who I met this week, Cameron Dion and Sylvester Stallone was at Planet Hollywood. And I talked to both of them. They were so cool. All right, Bill, let's go. I'm the real deal. Real deal Holyfield. Come this way, sir. All right, so you're familiar with what's going on here. Do you want to have a seat? If you need to get up for any reason. Get you're getting out in just a few minutes. We've got to get your fingerprints and a photograph, okay? All right, let's do it. Uh, hang on, hand stop. We're going to give you a copy of charges. You're going to have a seat in the first row. Listen for your name. Uh, if you need to get up for any reason, raise your hand. If you've got any questions, raise your hand, all right? Can I see the nurse? We will see medical. Have a seat right up in the front row. All right. He's not a bad guy. I think he has good intentions, but uh, hopefully he'll uh, find some kind of a direction, stay away from the casinos, and hopefully we won't see him back here anymore. I know it's cold. They keep it cold to keep the germs down. What are you arrested for? I, I'm a accessory for my husband's crime. Uh oh. Got a bait wallet. That was with him. He picked up a wallet by uh, slot machine. Okay. And I was upstairs, and he called me. Went to walk out the front door, and I did not know he had it on him. And then they tackled us. Okay. Hand me your jacket, please. The original charge was maybe like three months ago. We missed court. Why did you miss court? Uh, I was doing cancer treatment, and um, I was back and forth from L.A. All right, come here, please. So where is your husband at, then, right now? He's here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they brought him a couple hours ago. Does he know you're mad at him? He didn't know I'm here. I wasn't supposed to be here. They let me go, and then I made the mistake of the bail bondsman calling me and said, come pick up his property, and then they handcuffed me, and I had to wait three hours outside for the cops to come in and bring me here. OK, now tell me why they handcuffed you. They said they were doing a citizen's arrest because they knew I had a warrant as well. Well, you're getting it taken care of, so this won't have to happen again. OK, let's go into the next room. There's going to be a chair with the number three on it. That's where I want you to sit. So what's the story with this lady? We got a call from a bail bondsman saying that they had a female in custody with a warrant. On the way down here, she was telling us something about her husband picked up a bait wallet, and she was with him and somehow got caught up in that. All right, thank you. Katya, I was really confused. I thought the whole wallet thing happened tonight. Oh, no. No, this was months ago. Now, tonight, we got set up. I was relaxing. I was, you know, watching this guy get eaten by an anaconda. And it was great. Not that I'm not happy to get this cleared up, but it ruined my Sunday night. I believe so. You're watching. We're waiting to watch the anaconda guy. He never got to see how that no. worked out. No, I did not. All right, I'll come back and check in on you, OK? Yes, ma'am. Hang out. Tell me about the inspiration behind your ink. I was a tattoo artist for a really long time. You were? I was. Really? Yeah. All right, so what do you so, got? Show me what you got. Start the chest. Oh, I have this. Flowers on a skull. I have that, which is like kind of the same, just like kind of match this one. Then I have my nurse, my naked nurse over here. I have 
You like skulls? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And then I have my husband's name and like a couple other things somewhere in this general area. And I have some on my legs, but I can't really, you know. Is your husband tied it up too? He is. He has a full sleeve and his chest done. Did you do any of it? No. He was not that trusting of me. Wow. I thought I might mess him up. <laughs> All right. So you should be aware of your charges while you're here. Okay. Burglary, grand larceny, okay. and they use possession of a hotel key. Okay, so here's your copy. Okay. Let's go into this next room. I'm gonna go talk to your husband. Yeah. I know. You think you want me to tell him? Are you gonna go talk to him? I will. Are you? Go tell him I love him. Oh. Yeah. That There's a nice. reason why you tatted his name on your back. That's true. Okay, go have a seat. All right, thank you. You know, despite being in here, especially for everything she's put her own self through, she's kind of funny and she doesn't have that bad of a attitude about it. She's gonna have to just take care of what she got herself into. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about 14 years. Been down in booking for five years as a sergeant. It gets crazy down there sometimes, so you gotta have good officers and you gotta have good supervisors. We're gonna come out here, wait for this code five, see how combative he is, see if I can talk him into walking into the facility. What's his charge? He has a warrant for battery domestic violence for $3,000 bail, and we found a meth. But he was caught stealing a bunch of stuff from Walmart. Um, swings shift officers watching him for like two hours. He's taking, you know, BB guns and knives and just $500 worth of stuff. Uh, he spit on my windshield here. He's been a peach since you've been there. Yeah, he's though. been lovely. Uh, admitted right. he was a white supremacist on the way here, too, and his family's kind of bottom him up, so. Okay. I didn't spit on that window. Have you been here before? He said I just spit on his window. I didn't spit on that fool's window. That's why you got a camera. You can check it. I never spit on that fool's window. I'm worried about you coming out of this car and dealing with these officers over here. Man, I don't give a f about them. I'm telling you, I wonder why the I'm going to jail for two years ago. I've been in prison for five okay. years. How the I go well, to prison? Well, I worry about what they're doing because they're my officers and they're going to be dealing with you here for a second. They're, they respect me. If you decide you, you're not going to comply with what they're telling you, you're going in that chair over there. I'm not going to disrespect nobody. Don't disrespect that's me. That's why I'm talking to you. I'm just pissed off. You just need to chill out. That's why I'm dealing with you. I, that's why I'm talking to you. You just stole my money and stole my other You better calm down. No. She's going to start hounding me. I'm trying to talk to you. Are you going to be cool with these guys when they pull you out of the car? They took it out of my wallet, bro, for real. Are you going to keep on going, or are you just no. going to... You, gonna you done? my money you stole from me? All right, pull him out. We'll see how he acts. Watch him. He's probably going to end up in the chair, though. Uh, these guys come out of prison think they run things. He'll learn very quickly he doesn't. Face the wall. Spread your feet. Right over here against the wall. Ow! God damn! What the f did I do? You broke my damn thumb, dog. Ah, you just broke my oh, damn geez. thumb, bro. What the f did I do to break my thumb? I ain't shit. Ow! God He's damn. holding your wrist. Knock it off. My thumb is f***ed up. God damn! Just get the chair. I don't know where prison you came from, but that's not how stuff runs here. You assaulted me. I didn't do face. nothing, you bro. You understand now? I didn't do nothing. Not you think you're going to be in charge in here, and you're not. No, I didn't do nothing. Ow! Ow! I didn't do nothing, bro. Oh, let's pull this cuff off. All right, Listen, coming straight back. Hey, let's scoot up. Yo, I ain't doing bitch ass thing. Sir, stop talking. I didn't do nothing. It looks like this guy just got out of prison and he's trying to let us know what he's going to do while he's in here. This is our jail and we will tell him what to do. He will not tell us what to do. I ain't did. He just dry hit me. And nothing would happen. I told you if you didn't no act reason. right, you you would be in a chair. I don't care about the chair. You hit, yo, hit me for no reason. I was up against the wall. Hit you. I did not resist. Yeah, he did. It's on camera, dog. It will be subpoenaed. Well, nobody's your dog, for one. You just, Two, he put you up against the wall and grabbed your wrist. No. I don't know what you're talking about, and, hit you. Yeah, and then throw me in a chair like I'm crazy. You see the money in my wallet? I got okay. $6,000 on the credit card there. I ain't steal a mother okay. thing. My phone died, so I plugged in the charger. Mm -hmm. I had over $3,000 worth of the card I was going to buy. Mm -hmm. I got to steal it for it. We're going to leave him in the restraint chair, see if he can calm himself down. Shove a, a cord? Oh, my God, dog. You make y'all feel good to salt pee? Go ahead. I ain't going to steal nothing. So what was his whole story again? I got a phone call stating that a male in a Walmart that was opening up products and getting ready to steal them, and they'd been watching them for about two hours on a closed caption, uh, closed circuit TV you know, from the surveillance room. So uh, we got there, watched him for about another half hour, and he was sure enough had a, just a shopping cart full of items, BB guns, hatchets, clothes, just really random things. And uh, he had some warrants, battery, domestic violence, and a meth pipe on him. He's already went to prison once for assault on a, on a uh, 
police officer, so I did five years, he said, so you'd think he'd learn, but apparently yeah. not. I figured he wasn't gonna make it, and yeah. he didn't. What are you high on? Meth. Didn't you just get out of prison? Yeah, yeah. Why are you yeah. using meth already? I don't care about prison. I don't care about jail or nothing. You wanna go back to prison? I don't care. I Why? Do nothing. I'm not gonna go back, what I do? I took a $10 charger, and you put me in this chair and strapped me up. Why do you like meth? I feel less pain. I don't know, it makes me feel. Just move fast. You like being hyper? Like, yeah. normally, I, like, I was in a bar. I could fight like three or four people, no problem, boom. When I'm sober, it's just like drowsy, tired. Why are you trying to fight three and four people? I don't care. Prison, dead, I don't care about nothing. Like, I don't care. I'm gonna check with you in a couple hours, make sure you're calm so you can come out of the chair. Uh, it's like, mm -hmm. It's calmed down quite a bit. Right over here against the wall. He's been there for almost two hours, so seems to be ready to cooperate and do what they ask him to do. We'll let him uh, relax in Z7 for a little bit. Okay. Step in all the way to the wall. Mika, mate, 222. Sergeant Above 6897, that was uh, first name Zachary. I don't have an ID number yet. All right, Zach, can you come on over here and talk to me for a minute? You happy to be out of the chair? Don't bother. I don't care. So you're gonna be nice and cool now that you're out of the chair? You're gonna cooperate with the officers? I ain't do nothing to get in the chair. I cooperate with who I feel like cooperating with. I just, some of these laws are just, I don't know. You never just met somebody you just don't like? Yes. Yeah. All right, Zach, good luck to you. So Zach will probably be in here a few more hours, cool down, and they'll bring him out, finish him up, fingerprint him, get him through the process like a normal inmate would be able to do. Says so, Marsha. Yeah, go ahead. What's he doing now? <laughs> Marsha. Why are you looking at me, Dan? Marsha. Why are you looking at me? Marsha. Marsha, you uh, turn your face around. Oh. Marsha, hey. Simmer down. Sit down. I want to talk. I know the wrong. I drink. Hey. Dad. We just had this talk. Remember? I just drink. I know. Take some deep breaths. Put the sandals on your feet, all right? Oh, my God. See those guys up there? They didn't yeah. do anything to you. I know they right. did. I'm so sorry. I, I okay. apologize, Kay. All right. Sorry, Otherwise, you're done. No, I can't take them off right now. Why? Because that's not how it works. Everybody out here has to keep them on. I know she came in with a lot of medication. I think she's not dealing well with just sitting out here. She wants the chains off. Officer Liskey, what exactly happened tonight? Uh, she had hit her boyfriend in the back of uh, his neck. When we show up to the scene, uh, a window was broken and she was uh, denied re-entry to the house. And so uh, we arrested her for the uh, bad DD. OK. What happened was this. I got drunk. I'm an alcoholic. And um, I really don't really know what happened. No. And my daughter called. Here I love my crib. OK, well, we know. I know. I have grandkids, too, and I love them. So just be patient and try to take some deep breaths when you start losing your patience sitting here, OK? okay. Sounds like she's been an alcoholic for a while. When she gets too inebriated, she gets violent with some of the family members. She's a little mad at her daughter right now, so hopefully we can get her through this process. Listen, you're trying my patience. Come on, sit down there. Don't no, get, I, I want don't get crazy. Just sit down. Come on. Listen, All your paperwork's coming through, then we'll help you out. Come on. Marsha, don't make me, don't make me tie you to that chair. Don't get up again or that's what's gonna happen next. My daughter's an ass. Take these things off. Take them off. Marcia. Please. I don't need these. You ready? Oh, wrong. Marcia, come on, come on. Let's go see if we can get your fingerprint, all right? Come on, Marcia. I think once we get her paperwork, we're gonna take her across, just put her in a side cell over there. All right, Marcia, you know why you're here, right? Yeah, because I'm an ass. Okay. Well, I wouldn't know if it was that well, that's more... really pretty much what it is. That's all right. Well, it's because you did take and oh, Jesus battered Christ. your boyfriend, right? 
Are you serious right now? Okay. Well, that's the truth. I'm here for punching my husband. That's Are you? Well, was, oh, okay. hell no. Hold on. Hell no. Oh, Mark, Mark, hell Mark. no. Uh -uh. You. I didn't Mark. hit that man. Okay. We have you know what? Said He's that disabled. No. Listen. No. That's not our. Get we don't. The process. I didn't do this, man. <laughs> right now, you're getting charged for this, okay? I'm getting charged for my husband. That's all it is. Seriously. Okay? You can talk with them in court. Do what you gotta do, man. And listen, <laughs> listen, Marshall. I'm gonna said. push that motherfucker when I get home. I flushed the window and I'll be that bitch. Are you serious right now? Go <laughs> home. Wait till I get home. I'm gonna go grab that man. Oh, Marsha, yes. We're gonna walk you over here, okay? Don't look at me, man. Oh hell no! Hey, that Marcia, man. We're gonna are take you. Right listen, now? Marcia, he... We're gonna take you out of the chains as soon as we get you over here. That's what you want. You can sit down and relax, okay? Not gonna leave her out in the open booking area with the other inmates because she's just gonna God, get them all God. riled up. Don't do that to me. All right, Marsha, step right on in. You good, Marsha? Is that better? Okay. Yeah, Sergeant, that's the main thing she kept asking for is to get out of these cuffs, so hopefully she'll settle down now. We'll come check on her in a little while. All I'm right. sure she'll be on her. Hey, Lee, how's Marsha doing? Uh, she's doing all right. She's been asleep most of the night. She giving you any trouble, kicking, uh, banging? No, no trouble at all. Yeah, she's awake. Let's see how she's feeling. Hi, Marsha. Hi. How you feeling? Good. <laughs> you remember when you came in tonight? Not really. You don't remember why you got arrested? Um, no. No? I have no clue. Okay. Do you remember uh, being up front and yelling and not sitting down and... Oh, I'm so sorry. No, 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 you're okay. I just, you, you, oh. you were explaining that you were drunk and you were having a hard time following instructions. No. That's why we put you back oh, here. Oh, okay, okay. No, but... no. Mm -mm, sorry. No. Yeah, I, I didn't think you would. I know, I didn't. You... And I still feel pretty drunk right now. Are you hungry? Kind of. <laughs> okay, I can't promise it's going to be good, but it'll be food. Okay, so All I right. need to sleep a little longer? Yeah. Absolutely, I was okay. just checking on you, Marsha. I appreciate you guys. I'll come back and check on you in a little bit, okay? Okay. Marsha's very nice. She's just still a little drunk, so I guess uh, the food will help. Yeah, we'll let her sleep it off till after breakfast, and uh, maybe before the end of shift, we'll see if we can pull her out and get her fingerprinted and photographed. Sounds good. Thanks, Lee. All right. Face this direction, spread your feet. Do you know this gentleman that's with you, here with you? Mm -hmm. uh, how are you guys? How do you know each other? It's my fiance. All right, what are you here for? All right, man, go ahead and have a seat, okay? Possession. Possession? Possession and uh, transporting or something. Mm, okay. We were on our way to go get married. You yeah. were going to get married? Mm -hmm. How long have you been using for? Since I was 14. How old are you now? 26. You're 26? What'd you get arrested for? Oh, you had a sack of dope? Well, hopefully you'll get an OR, you know? Oh, how many certified convictions do you have? Nine. Nine? You know, a lot of times, and I am no expert in this, but being together doesn't help each other out. How long have you been using that? 15 years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're deep into it then, man. It's part of your life, you know? First steps realizing you got a problem. You know? yeah, oh, yeah. No, man, every, nobody's perfect. Everybody's got something going on, trust me. Come on over here, sir. You're going to go out here to the third row chair with the number three on it. All right, Jeff, good luck. Seat number two, man. Wait for the nurse, OK? Hi, you brought in the couple? Yeah, we brought in. Uh... What's the deal with them? We pulled him over right in front of the courthouse. He said he was there to post bail, got released from jail today. Officer Rich located a, uh, a baggie of meth inside the car. They both ended up admitting that the meth was theirs and that they'd been smoking it throughout the day. And he, uh, he had his marriage certificate. They're going to go find a chapel to, uh, to get themselves married. All in one. All tonight. Wow. So. Maybe another time. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys very much. Hey, Erica, can you come back here, please? So you, you said you were going to go get married? Yeah. It just sucks, because I just got him out today. Like, today, he just got out. All right, so now you're in here. What are going to be your plans now? Just uh -huh. Our plans were to go I mean, detox no in five days. But now you got to think about what's your next plan, right? You got to get to the point where you going to have to worry about you, and he's going to have to get himself together, right? There's really nothing right, to tell you, for you. 
you besides gonna you're gonna have to be strong for you you know as women we've all gone through some things we really wish the best for you okay thank you have a seat when your paperwork comes up we'll go over it with you okay Jeff we'll do the thumbs man uh it's just gonna be one count of uh controlled substance okay. meth okay and then the recommended was also oh, yeah. for transporting controlled substance. You aren't driving the vehicle, but you are taking it, you know, the blame for it, which is cool, because you don't want things to go to her, right? That's pretty much the idea behind it. Mm, that's two felonies? Yeah, it's two felonies, technically. All right, you can have a seat where you were, man, and they're gonna bring you in the room and get you started, okay? Hey, Jeff, could you come back here, please? We were just talking to your fiance. Um, you guys were on your way to get married. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of dope on me. They found it. Never made it. My wife busted her ass to bail me out. She deserves a lot better, I know that. That's right there should be your drive. You got somebody that's got your back. She's doing what she's got to do. Build yourself to be that better man like you see, and she deserves a better man. But you guys are going to have to support each other, even though you're not together. When your paperwork comes up, we'll set you aside, and we'll go over it with you, OK? And I'll help her out, too. That's all I ask. I know. Help her as much as possible. Absolutely. I've been through it. I've done it. Yeah, but she's still. process. OK. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Thank you. Go relax. OK. I'll take your right thumb here. You've been here before, right? Yeah. OK. You know how to do this, then. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's constructive possession for you, OK? Which means you weren't admitting to actually having possession of it, OK? okay. But you are getting uh, possession of controlled substance, methamphetamine, one count, and uh, transporting controlled substance. Okay. OK. Both of those are felonies, OK? Mm -hmm. All right, Erica, go ahead and head back to your seat. I'll let you know when your paperwork comes up, OK? It sounds like he's uh, he's taking most of the blame for it, so. Yeah, and that's what he said. He's, yeah. he's more concerned about her getting out of here. He already knows what's in store for him. And I think that's fair enough. Okay. So. All right, thank you. Yep, thanks. Bye. This is more than shuffling papers. It's shuffling lives, huh? <laughs> Very good point. If they can take your advice and try to help each other with this, then they may stand a chance. The world's what? The greatest connection about my wife. Spread your I feet, sir. I bet you won't call her. Spread your feet, sir. My wife. Spread your Mayor feet, sir. Mayor of Toronto, Canada. Welcome. That's a badass bitch, let me tell you. I'm a bad mother too. What's the story on this guy? Basically, we're watching one of our dope spots. And uh, it's only two bitches. He comes out from the dope spot. He goes in and he comes out, and, we, and, and he's about to cross the street in front of us. So we go ahead and stop him. We know he's going to have some something on him, most likely cocaine, because that's what they sell over there. And sure enough, he had some cocaine in his hand. We ask him to hand, a, hand us his cocaine, and uh, he throws it on the ground and steps on it. And, so anyway, he's high and obviously drunk, but funny guy, man. Oh, you must get to see this. Yeah. We'll put that blue shirt I'm on, sir. I'm 68 years old. He's not being combative. He's just under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Uh, Robert, you're killing me, buddy. He's not going to make it through the process. So as soon as we get him through this initial stage in screening, I'll take him someplace where he can sleep this off for a while. OK, I, I'm, I'm a mother American. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you. Come on, put your uh, sandal on, sir. Hey, don't forget, my lungs are greatest dumbest people in the world. Come on, buddy. Hello, sir. Robert, do you have high blood pressure? Yeah, uh, I don't have blood pressure. I'm just trying to get him through this medical screening so I can get him put away. So even though he thinks he's being funny. Let's go over this one. We'll get your fingerprint real quick. We'll get you out of these chains, all right, Robert? You didn't want to hit me, did you? No, of course okay. not. Am no, I you, doing okay. You're good. I play the blues. So what do I got to worry about? Hey, Robert, step in that shoe so you're not uneven. You it's bad for your back. It's going to isolate him for a little while. Good luck to you, sir. Until right. he sobers up. He's just going to cause too much of a commotion out there. Okay. It's going to get everybody else riled up so he can sit in here alone for a couple hours. Hey, I'll see. Oh, but I'll run it down with you. Oh, I don't 
Sit up for me, please. How you doing, sir? Um, I'm happy. I'm drinking. I'm still doing now. But I still play the blues. What do you mean? I'm what good. do you mean play the blues? You any good? Yeah, I'm really good. Can I give you something? What? Every day about a girl I know. She's my baby and I love her so. <laughs> She's my baby when the sun come up. But sometimes that bitch just don't give me enough. That's why I know. Hallelujah, that bitch love me so. Thank you very much. No, thank you, sir. Oh, come down. How's your life, Sergeant? Right now, it's pretty good. How are you and God? Uh, we have our ups and downs. <laughs> Me, I don't have no problem. I don't do nothing wrong. Thank you, sir. I'm going to leave him in here for just a little while longer. We'll see how he is after breakfast. We'll get him fed, then we'll get him through. Cool. Thanks, Lee. You're welcome. working on New Year's, even though it can be cold. I enjoy coming out here onto the strip and seeing all the people. I'd rather work out here than inside of the jail. It's fun to be out here and to, and to see everything that's happening. When the police officers are gonna arrest people, we're gonna take them back to our buses here in the back, be able to process them just like we would in the jail, but out here mobily. Just setting up one of our processing centers. We set up three or four of these around the strip area every year. We try to process them here the most we can, store them on our buses, then we transport them to the uh, detention center. So the faster we can get the patrol officers back out to the street, the better. Where'd you guys pull this young lady from? Uh, right here at the MGM, that DV. They were at the bar inside the MGM. She got upset at him and uh, she ended up hitting him in the head the groin. When someone's booked into the jail and a special event, we have to bring them into uh, what we call our, it's like a mobile holding cell. They're on the bus for no longer than two hours. Typically, they're cited, usually class two citations, and then we get them booked into the system, and then we take them on to CCDC, and then they're released a little bit later. This is my third year coming out here for New Year's Eve, I enjoy it. In the inside in the jail, we deal with a lot of negativity. Jail's not a happy place. So when you're out here, you have contact with the public, you actually get thank yous. It's not very often you get that in the jail. We're having a lovely time. Thank you. Very good. Thank you for having oh, us. Excellent. We've loved Best it. Best ever. Good. I hope you guys keep enjoying it. Best ever. We'll be back. Good. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you guys thank for visiting. You. Have a good night. You want pictures too? Also, we're here to make a good impression for the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, willing to talk to the citizens and the people visiting our lovely town, let them know that they're safe. It's good that they see a good presence of police officers on a night like tonight. Thank you. And Carl, how great are the visitors from Australia? Oh, they're fantastic. Yeah, and we're back here. Oh, thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. All right. I guess I had too much drink. Mike, would you know what it's all for? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I get I get a little stupid when I drink. Are you arrested? I'm sorry. I am really sorry. Put your hand on your head. Put your hand on your head. head. Put it on my back, please. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to put my pants off, please. Stop. I'm in cops. Uh, what was that? I guess I'm in cops, I said. I can see if I can find you. 
Or am I going to arrest him? Again? Yeah, it's just orderly conduct. Grab his hand right there. Sit down. We're just trying to process him here, and he's not cooperating, so we're just going to take him straight to jail. There you go, young lady. You're welcome. Right now, we're moving the crowd back just a little bit. We have our mounted unit coming through. They are able to uh, control the crowds a lot better than we can when they get unruly. So they're going to go out into the crowd. It's getting close to be about 10 o'clock right now, so they're going to be out here for the rest of the night through New Year's and uh, make sure that we have good crowd control. This is just the start of our New Year's Eve event. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock at close to midnight, and this is where it starts. Things are going to get crazy. It's going to go by really fast. So our first code five is supposed to be a male coming from one of the casinos. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, First code five is a male coming from one of the casinos. He uh, went up to six gang unit officers, challenged him to fight. Uh, they brought him over to our processing center, and started fighting us, wouldn't give us his hands or anything like that. Feels that he does not want to be in jail. All right, let me go talk to him. First okay. name Eduardo. Eduardo, Sergeant North. Where would they pick you up from? The strip. The strip? Because all I said was, it's most like bacon up in here. OK, so you're being sarcastic and acting stupid. No, I'm not being sarcastic. Mm -hmm. I think I have a, a freedom of speech. OK. Uh, how much you been drinking? Mm, not really. I am the age, and I think I have freedom of speech, so. OK, do you want to cooperate and walk in and get through the oh, process, yeah. or do you yes, want to put course. in the chair? Yes, of course. Yes, of course I do. But um, like okay, I said. OK, listen, Eduardo, you're okay. talking over me. You need to be quiet. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have one chance to cooperate, go in and follow instructions. If you don't, you'll be placed in the chair. Do you understand? Yes, yes I do understand. OK. He's going to try to walk. Based on his behavior, he can walk in. If he can and if he fails, then he will be placed in the restrained chair for a pulling down period. Take your shirt off. Relax your hands. Take your pinkies, slide your fingers down. Slide your fingers. Hiding some? Come on. I'm Mexican. Slide your fingers down. I know Chicano. Slide your fingers down. Slide them up. Put your shirt up to your armpits. What's that? Nothing. How many times do I have to ask you to do something? Nothing. I'm sorry. Do you listen to the whole process? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. I'm only going to ask you once. Yes. Lean forward. I told you Lean you had forward. one chance, and that was it. Yes. So you Lean need forward. to do what they say, OK? Lean forward. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't speak English. Yes, you can. You're speaking perfect English. The problem that we have when people walk in from Code 5 is that they agree that they're going to cooperate, but especially if they're uh, under the influence of alcohol, if they have a hard time following directions, then they end up failing. This is not allowing me to breathe. I'm sorry. No, I'm serious though. I can't breathe. You can talk to me, breathe. No, I'm serious. Sit in the first row, sir. Where's your hat? I like the hat. Thank you. We have to have spirit in here, even though we're stuck here. Absolutely. <laughs> this is our New Year's Eve party. Woo! It's very exciting. <laughs> Get up, sir. Get up, sir. Wait, 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 I got one more glove. Go. Sir, sir, you need to get up, okay? All right. Get up. Oh, don't pull, don't pull on his arm. Hey, hey. Come on. Are you okay now? Are you okay now? Come on. You able to stay in a chair now? All right, sit down. Estoy en serio. This thing is too tight. 
I'm not even lying. You know, if you just keep put Pat right here, it'll go away. You know what? I'm Mexican, so excuse my stuff. What? What does that mean? You're racist. That doesn't even make any sense. Racist. Okay. Period. Okay. Keep breathing. I'll calm you down. Just focus in and out. Is this Spanish good for me? Is Spanish good for you? Oh, oh, I knew that word. I knew that word. Levántate. Just because I... Levántate. You understand now? We don't disrespect people in here. You understand that? Okay? Lo siento. Okay, make sure people don't know Spanish. Make sure people don't know Spanish before you start talking. No, you understand? He's not actively fighting. We'll go ahead and put him in the C-7. No, no, no. All right, sir. Perdón, perdón. Oh, okay, perdón. What's her name? What's her name? No sé lo que estoy diciendo, perdón. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait for it. He didn't like what I had to tell him, and so he started cussing me out in Spanish, although he didn't realize that Officer Rodriguez was right next to me and knew exactly what he was saying. I said, I ain't good. I'm in jail. That's it. We all ain't going to ask you, but you still lie. No, 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 not at all. Eduardo. Take your arms out. Can you sober up a little bit? Can you sober up a little bit? What? Put your arms across your chest, man. Why are you being so loud? I'm right here. Because I'm Mexican. That doesn't mean anything? Yeah, it means we're loud. No, it doesn't. Mexicans are loud. No, it doesn't. It's stereotype. Come on, we are. Are you feeling better? No. No? I'm feeling worse. How, how's that cell going? We're about, we're about to have a fight. Come here, come here. Put your hands behind your back, man. Yes, sir. Hey, Newman! Look, we ain't gonna have you starting no fight this time. No, yet. sir. Hey, no, no, no. I don't care what he yeah, said. Yeah. He's sitting down. Yeah, yeah. You got up. And you realize he's drunk? That's not smart. I don't think I committed a crime to Whatever be you up did. here. Whatever. I believe hey, I do have... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eduardo, I do, I'm sorry. all I'm telling you is that's what the court's for. Like, I don't think you'd be here if you hadn't been out drinking. It is what it is. He started goofing off too early, so he can ring in the New Year here in the facility with us. It's almost midnight on a New Year's Eve. In a, an hour or two, uh, it's going to be full in here, and things are definitely going to be popping off. He's the winner. He is the first customer. First arrest in 2015 here in Vegas. Thank you, sir. All right, baby, let go. Yeah, go sure, sir. Just relax. Sir, on your yeah. sir, it's a new year. I, Calm down. I'm trying to resist it, man. Stop. Arms up, man. Listen, you need to listen to what you're going to do, and you okay, want to. Okay, I was just, just stop. You you're you're twisting my arms up, man. That hurts. We're coming off in a second. I already gave up, man. Why do you keep me. You're not following directions. My arm's about to break. You need to calm down. I give up, sir. We're yelling. Okay, I, but my yell. hands are not resisting anything. We bring them to our processing station here. Basically, we take all this property off, inventory it, take the handcuffs off, put them in the belly chains. What's your first name? It's on my ID. It's on his ID. See, now that's the problem with you. You're going to jail, so you might as well just. Well, then it's on there, either. You'll figure it out. Man, look, see, see this guy? I'm not even resisting, sir. What's your first name? Hey, hey, put him on the ground. What's your first no, name? No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm What's your first name, then? Lazaro, bro. L-A-Z-A-R-O. Hey, what happened with this guy today? We were escorting the fire department through the crowd because they had a medical emergency. They were carrying a guy on the stretcher. This guy yells, F the police. 
uh, basically takes his friend and pushes him into the fire department guys, which almost caused the patient to fall um, and get dropped. So we grabbed him and arrested him real quick and brought him back here. What did I do? Really cold, man. Please try to get the jacket on. Alcohol seems to have got the best of him tonight, so I let him sit on the bus until we get a load to take back to CCDC. That looks like uh, some patrol officers brought in a uh, class two for us. What'd this guy end up doing? This buddy of uh, him decided to go in Pepper Mill, uh, ate a meal, he had a steak chicken fingers, ordered a drink, having a good time. His friend and him to cook, uh, basically stated to each other they're going to uh, decide to leave the establishment without paying. They had no money. He approached the manager, asked the manager if uh, he could step out for a smoke. The manager kind of caught on what was going on. They called for us, and we arrived and took him to custody. He basically admitted to us that uh, he had no money to pay for me, homeless, and has been out here from Washington without a job, which I understand, but fortunately, you can't do that. How you doing, young man? Good. What's your name? Jacob. Jacob, how you doing? I'm Sergeant Peterson. Nice to meet you. It's a little cold out here tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it's freezing. <laughs> Once we're done here in just a minute, we're going to get you on that bus so you can get a little bit warm. So do you understand what you did was wrong, though, right? Yeah, I understand. All right. How long have you been homeless? Um, a month. A month? Yeah. What brought you to Vegas? The city itself, just the monumental way it is and stuff, you know? Yeah. I had a job for a little while. I got fired from there, didn't have a place to stay, and I ended up just wandering the streets and ending up with the wrong crowd. All right. All right, Jacob, be good. We'll stick in this property. He's going to spend a night at CCDC, get him out of the cold for a little bit. We still get a hot meal in there. That's right. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> It amazes me the type of people and the things that we get out here. Everything in between comes out here celebrating the new year here in Las Vegas. Looks like we have three people coming in. Not sure the circumstances yet. There's no reason to get upset. But I told she should be punished for Why not? He's not going to be punished for what you've done. He's still just punished. You get in trouble for what he did, not for what you did. I understand, officer. Bye. He's my baby brother. What happened tonight? Uh, we just came with our brother guy, so you know how our brothers are. Oh, uh, you guys got into a little scuffle? Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Both of them are your brothers? Yes. You're all three brothers? Yes. You all three got into it? No, no. No, the little one didn't have nothing to do with it at all. Oh, uh, he was just there? Yeah, he was there, and he got, he fell into it. He just let him go, man. He didn't do nothing. Well, that's not my decision. That's the officers who arrest you. Basically, we just got notified by some citizens that there was a fight going on. Uh -huh. And they were fighting with one other guy. But they're just so drunk that they don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, they're very intoxicated. They're all over the place. Yeah. This guy's got like a footprint on his forehead. Doesn't even know how that happened. Yeah. He's 19. And by the time and he's been drinking too, huh? Yeah, and by the time he got up off the ground, his pants were down around his ankles. Just, just a mess. How'd you get that mark on your head tonight? Uh, actually, this mark is, uh, I've been there, uh... No, there's like a black mark going all the way across. It almost looks like somebody stepped on you. That's how I've been there. I don't know how I got the mark. Can you tell me what happened tonight? The guys, uh, caught me, and I, uh, I've been there, I've been there with them. All right. You know what we caught you doing? What you got me doing? You know what we caught you doing? What you got me doing? Oh, okay. Let's take a deep breath, I know, man. I never had any kind of criminal history. I never did wrong. I never did none of them. I don't know if they're actually brothers or if they're just Termin friends. Termin Termin and Dearman brothers. So okay. they're actually going to be booked. They're going to spend the night in jail then instead of just a couple hours. Two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen is over. The barricades are down. Our buses are out of here. We're still going to have a few officers out here. We do some uh, last-minute pickups if we need to. But other than that, the main part of us are out of here. We're going to go head back to the jail. Happy New Year, right you guys. Me. What are you doing? Why are you up moving around? I said next to my brother. We're, we're just having a oh, all three of you guys are brothers? Yeah. When, why are you in here? Just me and my, my brother were horse playing. Uh, That's how it goes. It was no violence. Do nothing to hit your brother. Your no, brother, we're right? just playing. We're having horse playing. Okay. 
horse so where were you horse playing at? Like right by the, the PH. So what got you in this situation right here? You are horse playing in front of the... We were horse playing, the cops took it yeah. out, out, out of context. No, they seen us as we were fighting in there. Yeah, they thought they we, we, their we were fighting with each other. We are just playing with each other. Yeah, and they did their duty. Uh, you got a, he's got a little dirt on his head. You guys were no, playing pretty us. good. No, that was him. Yeah. That was us. That was uh, us. Just you two? Yeah, nah. it was just me, me and him. So why is he your brother? Why is he here then? Oh, um, he was in between us. They, they came. He came afterwards when the cops seen, when he seen the cops were, were trying to apprehend us. He, and he came yeah. to, to and they, they apprehended him. They too. apprehended him on top of uh, your first time being arrested. No, sir. How many times have you been arrested? Probably three times. And you? Yeah, about about six. How much have you had to drink? Oh, I only had a couple of drinks. And you? A couple of drinks too. I'm 30 years old. I mean, uh, what's a, what's a couple? Um, two drinks, literally. Two uh, drinks. Yeah, we, hard liquor or beer? No, that that hard so beer. It, it was it was one beer and hard liquor mix. Okay. So what about you? Do you drink? Me? Yes, sir. No, yes, sir. Nah, no, he, he's a he's a good guy. He's a he's a really good kid. He's just, sleepy, man. Oh, he doesn't go to school. We, we actually took him out with us. Let's see the fireworks. We want really. We didn't really try to take him out. But you know what? He didn't want to end up like this, though. No, no. Cops arrested us for 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 like teasing or with each other. We're like, wait, what's going on here? Like, what are the charges? You know what I mean? Yeah, they explain, got me hang of me. Explain oh. to me, what is the actual, like, charge that we're, that we're being charged with? They're like, well, um, you guys have been drinking tonight, and, um, yeah, so on and so forth. We're like, hey, we're just having fun with each other. Really. Yeah. Like, we always have fun with each other. Yeah. It was a very good New Year's out there for us. I know it's been a little bit busier inside the jail, but we were quiet on our processing center. But it was cold, so I think that probably kept a lot of people inside. So we had a good year. 2014 is now over. We're ready for 2015, and we'll be ready to go then. And the doors open up, and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my needs. I don't want to be alone. I got